Hi, I'm Sherry and I'd like to showcase my current live 3D model. I did the rigging and I commissioned the art from Alex. I also commissioned a one-to-one -one 3D model from Mari to help with the head angles. First, I'll talk about said head angles. I went for 80 degrees X angles as I encountered too many difficulties with the mouth when going for 90 degrees. I also did full Z angles instead of just using a rotation deformer. I used images for the 3D model as guide images for the head angle and I then tweaked the angles to fit my style a little bit better. Since the model wasn't made for angles that high, I had to use some tricks to make it work, like using part of the face line to make the nose, extending the back head to reach the top of the head, and rigging most of the hair movements directly on the art mesh to squeeze the inside of the layer against the line out, to make it look like the layer is turning. For the face, I used Vibridger. I made sure to use every parameter available and I even made new ones with the Vibridger Editor DLC. For the base mouth parameters, I used 4x5 keyframes instead of the usual 3x3 in order to make it more detailed and expressive. I also rigged the entire face to the mouth movement for a cuter, squishier effect. One of the biggest issues I faced was that with that many mouth parameters along with the head angles, some combinations ended up looking wrong. In the end, I had to link some deformers to as much as 5 different parameters to make sure every combination looked good. For the body movements, I also used images of my 3D model as reference, but on top of that, I recorded myself doing those movements in VRChat with full body tracking and I used those videos as references. When it comes to the specific movements, instead of rigging it to the usual body X, Y and Z, I made general movement parameters and I used physics to link them to every input parameter that I could use. And breath. For example, I had a body left right parameter that is linked to both body X and head position X. I used those physics parameters to give some liveliness to my toggles too. For those toggles, while I have a few simple outfit or expression toggles, I also have animated ones that are very good for viewer interactions. And my favorite one is the sparkle toggle, which uses physics to cause sparkle to fly when winking. 